How's it going guys, Vlad here and welcome to yet another Arduino tutorial in which we're going to be looking at installing the libraries. So this particular one is gonna contain the functions and uh, whistles in order to drive the ADXL3485 accelerometer module which I will be discussing separately in a later tutorial but for the purpose of this demo uh, we will be using that particular library. So. As I mentioned, the library will contain a lot of functions in order to facilitate the use of that particular module. Um, and there's there's a lot of libraries for anything you can think of, LCDs, uh, buzzers, uh, accelerometers, gyroscopes. So um, it's very important to know how to install them because there is a, uh, not a complicated procedure, but could be confusing to some of the new users to the Arduino. So I just wanted to walk you through in a separate video so hopefully you can learn something and let's jump right into it so by clicking on the ADXL 345 library link you will be brought to a github website from which you can download uh, all sorts of files you can download the CPP and the header file separately but we want to download it as a package so you're gonna click on download zip you want to save it in your uh, libraries folder on the Arduino so uh, you navigate to your wherever your installation is, libraries, and then you save it as a zip file. Save. Once you open that particular folder, you will see that a zip a zip file has been saved. You can then launch your um, you can launch your Arduino and go to Sketch, Import Libraries, Add Library navigate to the same directory so let me quickly do that libraries and you should see the zip folder you want to click open and the error you're most commonly going to see is the um, the fact that it cannot be used names must contain only basic letters and numbers ASCII uh, two only no spaces and it cannot start with a number so the workaround uh, from this is you need to extract the library so extract this library here and you want to make sure all your um, folder as well as the files inside of it are named the same so I'm gonna name them to Adafruit ADXL345 both the header as well as the CPP file and now you want to turn off Arduino so you want to close the Arduino IDE and you want to restart it from scratch so you want to go back to your main you know the exe and since the library has been put into that folder you sh it should now be available right here so if you click on adafruit IDX adxl 345.h it should appear in your uh, main header so obviously all the functions are going to be described in the on the website they should have a full documentation of what's available for this particular device and sometimes you may see some examples in your uh, sketchbook so if you navigate to Adafruit ADXL 345 you will see there is a sensor test um, sketch so we can definitely check this one out on the next tutorial but uh, yeah a lot of the libraries will contain uh, test files or showcase different functions so that's how you set up a library. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Hopefully it was fairly clear. There shouldn't be any other uh, major issues with this. Make sure to always uh, leave the library in the Arduino uh, library folder because um, that's, that's the easiest method. The Arduino will know exactly where the library is instead of you linking it from some somewhere else. So yeah, once again, if you have any questions, comments let me know thank you guys for watching see you in the next tutorial bye